Okay, so uh, we're off to Lampeter Lakes again. Okay, the Celtic Lakes, the new Celtic Lakes. Uh, this time we've got my son-in-law Matt with us. So it's me, Alex, Matt and Phillips joining us again. So hopefully we'll have a, a good time again. Um, and hopefully we'll have lots of fish. So hopefully the journey will be better this time. And we'll see you there. Just coming up to the lakes now. The next left turn. Here we are. Alex just pulled in. Matt's just pulling in. I'm just pulling in. Lovely. Big squid boilies from here. See if we can catch a couple of cats. And I was just phoned me to say you got them in. So we're going to get them now. Get them on, see who goes. What's happening down this corner there? Crap. Look. Going without any hiccups this time. So we've all got our rods up now. And uh, let's hope we can catch a few fish. So let's give you a quick tour of the uh, camp. So in here, this is my bivy. You can tell it's quite messy. Uh, so I got my suitcase down here, got my water, towel, got my filming equipment, uh, my beds there at the back, my sleeping bag, some coats, and I got storage under my bed, uh, my chair, uh, some wellies as well for when it gets raining. Uh, I got my torch. Yeah, it's just my overall setup right here and that's where I'll be spending my next couple of nights so next to me over here we got Ian's uh, bivy a bit bigger than mine a bit fancier a bit more room in there he's a lot more organized than me I mean he's got a carpet and uh, somewhere to wipe your feet to go in there uh, quite impressive if you're wondering what this thing is this is where uh, we hang well when we catch a fish we put it in the sling we hang the sling from here and we can weigh the fish to find out uh, the weight of it so and then coming over here uh, this is like our storage uh, tent so we keep everything we don't want to keep in our boobies uh, in here and it's also probably where we're going to be cooking our food A lovely bream. Oh well, never mind.
Okay, so you can't see me very well. You probably can't hear me very well because of the rain. It's five o'clock in the morning and I've just caught my first carp, which was 18 pounds and 13 ounces. It took out another line, but I managed to recover that. So it's still out. Nice, nice carp. Hopefully a good day ahead. So that was another carp, uh, slightly bigger this one, £21.13, got it on the right rod, um, and uh, it put up a decent scrap to be fair, uh, came in, it had a bit of damage on, it, on his body and his tail, so I treated him up and released him back. It's a bit wet out there. And a little bit windy. still quite windy out there and that sort of fine rain that gets you soaking if you want to go can I'll ring you yeah, thank you do you want Chakadimas? Yeah. Yeah. Right. The blood of hills. Oh, I'll go for 35 then. Height. 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 After that out, watch out for that. Man. We're fishing pegs 10, 11, 12, and 13 this time. There's four of us. And uh, me and Matt, well, we decided to go on 10 and 11. Peg 10 is down there, but peg 11 is actually big enough for us both to be on. So if you come here, you can actually get two people comfortably on peg 11 so we've got my bivvy we've got max bivvy we've got a spare bivvy there's plenty of room for the rods so uh, if you do come and you've got pegs 10 and 11 you can actually fish from 11 if you want to of course and alex is up on peg 12 she's just on you I think he might be on his carry. Let's have a look. Yep, he's on his carry. Nice curry, Red? Yeah. Nice man, bread. What's going on in there? Got some Titans. Alright, tidy. Contrast to earlier. At least it's dry, uh, still. Nice 
So Jess got this catfish. It's coming up to 12 o'clock ish, is it Matt? 25 to 11. 25, 25 to 11. 11. Just get a photograph of him now and get him back in the lake. This is what we are faced with today, so <laughs> that's pretty wet, yeah, nice. They are fished worse conditions, but not many worse. <laughs> It's quite fierce on there, isn't it? Yeah. Looks right. Oh, it's not that bad. I'd say 17, maybe. Yeah, well done, Al. Nice car, mate. Let's get some pickies. Thank you, Cops. Yeah, oh, he's so close. So, Matt is packed down. He'll be going soon, so it's just me or my Todd in the swim tonight. This is the view from Peg 11. Free enough guardian prisoner of war, then lecture me on Northern Unity. Yeah, he's got me up in the middle of flipping night for a £35 pound cat. <laughs> it's a cat that's supposed to do that, not you. We're oh. back. Thank you. Kilometers. Thank you. He's got another carp in the net. He's taken out to my um, right rod as well. So we get him sorted now. Get him in the cradle. Last morning, it was quite windy last night, very windy. It stayed dry. I just got the one carp. And um, it seems to have died down the wind this morning, which is great. If you can stay dry to pack up, that will also be good. So that's much the most of the um, last few hours I've got. And uh, then pack up and go home. Packing away, it's just uh, the worst, isn't it? Got most of it done, most of it's bagged up. It's got all the other bits and pieces in the uh, spare shelter. 
I need to go to the car and um, no more action. Maybe go another hour with the rods. See what comes. Baby's empty now. Just gotta take it down. Just wait for it to brighten up a little bit. Just got the basics out. Still the phones out. Got the barrel ready to load. And then just use the shelter. Spare shelter as a as a pilot stuff.